what's been the highlight for you? What what have we done? Today? Stanton Lake. And it was amazing. No one there. A nice little rocky beach and on both sides you could see these amazing mountains the great northern mountain and then some of the uh, glacier mountains in glacier national park on the other side and i ended up catching 46 fish the thing that really stood out i went out on the paddleboard with mama and uh, i was the the driver of the boat and she was uh, casting her line out there and she caught a huge trout hey guys give me your victory celebration we're getting to the top of the hill What did you say earlier? That it was what? Really enjoyable. Hammock Hangouts with Dwight and Timothy. Um, beautiful Friday evening. It's the weekend. Can't believe we've been in Glacier National Park in Montana for over two weeks now. Oh, Isn't that crazy? One week. Yeah, it's been, although I feel like I've been here a long time, but it means we only have one week left. And that's, that makes me really, really sad. But we still got a lot to do. And so, Let's talk about the past couple days. What's been the highlight for you? What what have we done, buddy? Stanton Lake. Stanton Lake. So I'll go ahead and tell a little about the hike. So we Stanton Lake has been recommended by many locals, including our river rafting guide, and also including like the guest book in our house. Everyone wrote Stanton Lake, Stanton Lake. Now I knew about Stanton Lake and I had actually put it on our list, but you know, you never know. Um, Stanton Lake, it's a mile hike in. Um mile but and it's half. Uh, Oh, oh, 1.3, actually 1.3 in. So yeah. 1.3 in, the kids want to make sure that I'm not lying to them about their trails because I have a reputation. Um, <laughs> but anyway. A reputation. Uh, yeah, a reputation. But anyway, uh, 1.3 in, and it's pretty much uphill, pretty steep. What do you think about the steepness? Probably, except for Mountain Nia, the steepest hike I've been on. Yeah, pretty steep, but it's short. Um, but uh, Boo and myself, we ended up carrying paddle boards, our inflatable paddle boards on our back because we wanted to do some fishing um, at the lake. We walked into the trail and we walked up to the lake and it was amazing. No one there, a nice little rocky beach. And on both sides, you could see these amazing mountains, the Great Northern Mountain and then some of the uh, Glacier Mountains in Glacier National Park on the other side. Um, absolutely no one on the lake. And so we pumped up the paddle boards, and then what happened? I actually didn't fish on the paddle boards. I just fished from shore in the creek and in the lake. And I ended up catching 46 fish. Five of them were like decent size, like 10 inches, and one was about like 12 inches. And then, but the rest were all like six inch, five, six inch little trout that I kept catching over and over and over on my one spinner. And it was like, there was a creek, and then it went to this little pond and they were all in there. It was really good fishing, so I yeah. liked it there. Yeah, um, I caught a, a couple small uh, fish, didn't keep any of the cutthroats, and then um, the thing that really stood out, I went out on the paddleboard with Mama, and uh, I was the, the driver of the boat, and she was uh, casting her line out there, and she caught a huge trout, well, kind of uh, 
in deeper water and uh but we didn't have a net and we didn't have a stringer so we pulled that thing in i kind of manhandled the fish onto the board and then we created a stringer with some fishing line yeah. from our fishing pole um but all in all one of my favorite days um really would love to go back to stanton lake and fish some more um, yeah. because it was that awesome yeah all right that's hammock hangouts with timothy and dwight